here we are at the off-leash dog area. Do you reckon, what do you reckon? Do you reckon we can let a goat off here? I reckon you could give it a shot. We've officially got approval, thank you. Heaps of fun. Hey Gary. Here we go, that's it mate, that's it. They'll get used to it. Look at this Gary, you've, you've calmed them all down, you've taken on all comers, they've settled down. What's going on everyone, welcome to another video. Now this video here is about this guy here, Gary the Goat. Now I haven't followed this guy too much, all I know is this is guy and he cruises around with a goat and he's got a very, he's got quite a big channel here. But someone sent me this video and asked me to react to it, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, Ryan, uh, Jimbo here, just travelling through Thailand and uh, fucking, I'm behind a fucking truck which has got a whole lot of fucking pigs and uh, looks like there's about eight up the top in a little cage slightly bigger than their body size and below looks like there's about another five or six pigs all crammed into the bottom and uh they're they're pretty well off to market this little piggy went to market to get fucking killed and eat and uh, uh apparently pigs have got a, the intelligence of a five-year-old kid which uh you know i've got a three-year-old fucking five-year-old that's pretty fucking full-on yeah it makes you think about what the fuck are we putting these fucking things through but uh Okay, so he obviously knows the pigs are intelligent. He's educated in that sort of respect. He's making some sort of ethical... He's, he's showing some sort of empathy towards these pigs in this because he can actually see them in this, you know, in this ute getting taken to go get slaughtered. I suppose the, the concentration camp style trucks in Australia, they're a bit covered, you know. You can't really see the pigs and then the other animals. They're sort of covered, but this is sort of... He can see where the pigs are heading. You know, I'm going to say this is not a vegan message. Uh, I'm, uh, I eat a little bit of meat, including pork every now and again, uh, for B12 reasons. Yeah, bro, like, you, you don't need to eat um, animals for, to get B12. I mean, that's, that's no justification for eating animals. I mean, the B12 that the animals get, um, some of it is from the grass that they eat. They, they get it from the grass, the bacteria ends up in their stomach and ends up in the rest of their body. But a lot of it is a B12 supplement that they put into their feed and and stuff like that. So you can just supplement with B12. I don't like getting injections. Look at there they are. You don't need to get injections to get B12? Fucking lying down, just fucking fuck, man. Half of them are just fucking giving up. And yeah. uh, you wouldn't know if they're dead or not because they're just fucking lying on the ground with their eyes closed and not moving. Yeah, it makes you fucking think about uh, what we put animals through on an industrial level. I, I respect the killing of some animals and... Whoa! Hold it right there, buddy. You respect... Mm -hmm. The killing of some animals. Now, where are you going to take this, mate? Because I don't like where this is heading. By this, I mean uh, there's a lot of indigenous cultures who kill animals. The Aborigines in Australia did it. They're, they're not a vegetarian race, the Aboriginals, and they've got a history of, of killing animals, namely the... Oh, so if it's a tradition, then that means it's okay. I mean, just because the Aborigines do it, my friend, does not mean that it's okay. I mean, there's a lot of things that were done in the old days that weren't okay. Big ones, the, you know, the super kangaroos, the super wombats, which were, you know, 30 times the size of the fucking animals, wombats and kangaroos that go around Australia today. Apparently they realised afterwards when all these um, animals fucking died out, became extinct, uh, they realised, fuck, we're pretty lucky to have such a fucking big meat source there. And they were pretty easy to kill. They're just these big, huge animals that fucking didn't move very quickly. So afterwards they created totems where... When you're born, you had a special animal which you didn't eat and you protected so that there was respect for the animals. Okay, hence a vegan diet where you respect all animals and you defend all animals. I respect that kind of uh, killing of animals where you're killing them but you're actually going, fuck man, I appreciate uh, the fact that you've given your life to me. Man. Could you imagine a murderer using that same justification? I mean, look man, I've really, I've got to shoot you in the face take your wallet and that but let me tell you i'm gonna buy a lot of crack cocaine with that money in the wallet so i just want to say i respect the fact that you've taken your life for me bang that doesn't really happen today in, in the industrial fucking abattoirs no of, it doesn't 
the world. And a bit of a middle issue for me because basically a lot of people go to me, not a lot, but I get the vibe, uh, especially from vegans, is uh, how can you be uh, an animal lover, which they recognise I am from the way I treat Gary. Gary, he's his goat that he loves. He's got a pet goat, but he eats other animals. Pigs. I'm sure he might eat lamb. I wonder if he eats lamb. But if I can still eat animals, and I'm sort of like to a lot of them, not all of them, how can you say you're an animal lover when you don't have an intense relationship with an animal? Like, you don't fucking hang out with one on a daily basis. You might go around and fucking let a few birds free from their cages, but you don't really experience the joy of fucking hanging around an animal and looking after it, making sure it's alright. And You don't need to have an intense one-on-one -on -one relationship with an animal to not want to kill other ones. That's for sure. I mean, veganism isn't about loving animals. It's about not hurting them. It's about not exploiting them, and it's about not killing them. Now, you don't have to have an intense loving relationship with a goat just to not want to kill animals. I mean, that's not what veganism is about. It's a moral baseline where you don't exploit, kill, rape, murder, participate in the industries which do those things to animals. I mean, I understand your sentiment. And to generalise saying vegans um, don't have a loving relationship with animals, I know vegans who have animal sanctuaries where they rescue animals. Vegans who have many dogs and cats and rescue animals and, and have amazing um, relationships with animals. So I don't know who you're really talking about here, but it's interesting. And keeping it entertained and giving it a full life, which uh, I, I like to think I give to Gary, and Gary's fucking definitely giving to me. So, yeah, that's um, that's just my musings on that. So are you saying that's your justification for eating other animals or because you treat Gary nice? I know you don't personally kill these animals, but you got to understand that by supporting the industry, by buying these products, a little bit of pork here and there, but by, by, by paying for that pork, you're killing a pig secondhand. You're murdering that pig by supporting that industry. I mean, just because you love Gary doesn't justify that. Just because you love this one animal and you show this and Gary lots of compassion and you spend lots of time and entertain him and you treat him really well, does not justify killing all these other animals. I mean, that'd just be like saying, you know, I really love my wife. I spend a lot of time with her and my child, but, you know, I, I killed this other chick the other day. I don't really know her, you know, I just killed her, raped her and took her money. I mean, I know that's an extreme way of putting it, but that's sort of what you're saying. You're saying it just because you love Gary and um, you have this intense relationship with him, that sort of justifies your other behaviour. answer is, for me, it's not taking vitamin B injections, which a lot of vegans do. Uh, to me, it's basically... Dude, you don't need to inject vitamin B. You can have a sublingual spray. I mean, and that's if, you, if your levels are low. And a lot of vegans never get low B12. And, and B12 is not only a problem for vegans, it's also a problem for meat eaters. Low B12 is not just a vegan issue. You can supplement it very easily without injections if that's what you're afraid of. And if and, and let me put it this way, my friend. If you've been scared of a little needle, um, can justify the murder of 200 animals per year per person. Let's say one person eating meat, milk, dairy and eggs kills up to 200 animals. One small needle every month or three months, or six months, a little needle like that, or killing 200 animals per year. I mean, can you weigh it up? You see you see what I'm talking about here? A life where I've got a good diet and I exercise well so that I've got a clean body and um, it's not clogged up with just too much fat and shit and toxins. Well, the fact that you're eating animal products which contain saturated fat and cholesterol, which builds up in arteries over time, would mean, no, you don't have a healthy diet. And I get a bit like that. Especially at the end of a tour, man, I put on about 10 kilos. Uh, and then when I have these breaks uh, with my family, I get fucking fit again so that I'm ready for the next fucking three months of truck food stop out in the fucking outback where you can't really get much good food, man. Uh, certainly good food that's tasty. You don't get fucking succulent mangoes and dragon fruit and jackfruit and shit like you do here or in Sunshine Coast in Queensland. But the thing is, dude, like... I know I, I, I can eat vegan at any service station I'm at. Any service station I'm at, there'll be bread, there'll be peanut butter, there'll be jam, there'll be cereal, there'll be uh, canned fruit, dried fruit, sultanas, there'll be uh, fruit juice, there's usually a uh, little rice. Most service stations, especially truck stops, you've got sandwiches, you've got bread rolls. You, you can eat vegan at these truck stops and not cause the suffering and death of animals. Oh, that, but the food doesn't taste as nice as a, a meat pie or a fried chicken wing. To use pleasure to justify an animal's life, is like a rapist using pleasure to justify raping a woman. It's no justification. 
because you can't use pleasure as a justification for killing or raping or exploiting another animal or, or human for that fact. Yeah, my thing is basically I love animals and uh, I, I love being healthy and being healthy involves having a bit of B12 and I do it through having a little bit of meat which hopefully gets assimilated into my body uh, and well, it definitely does more than when I'm out of condition. So You love animals but you're killing them to get some B12 which you can attain in, a, in another way. Meat eaters can be B12 deficient, mate. Most people think that the only foods naturally containing vitamin B12 are animal-derived foods. This is not true. In a sense, no food, plant or animal-based, naturally contain vitamin B12. You see, B12 comes from two sources, dirt and us. Let me clarify. B12 is a waste product of bacteria that can be found in soil and inside your body. So, of course, animal products are going to contain traces of B12. Animals eat food from the soil as well as produce their own B12. Of course, with the crap that we feed our food animals, farmers today actually inject their livestock with B12 in order to be able to say that their animal products contain B12. Meat eaters are actually more likely to have a B12 deficiency than vegans. In fact, 99% of people with B12 deficiency are consumers of animal products. This is because the B12 in meat is easily destroyed both by the heat that's needed to cook it and the hydrochloric acid in our stomachs that's needed to digest it. Studies show that those following a typical animal-based diet require more vitamin B12 than those who do not. In addition, animal products contain a vast number of other factors which inhibit vitamin absorption. Dr. John McDougall has an interesting take on the hesitance to go vegan due to B12 concerns. He says, take a moment to compare the possible consequence of your dietary decision. You could choose to eat lots of B12 rich animal foods and avoid a one in a million chance of developing a reversible anemia. However, this decision puts you at a 1 in 2 chance of dying prematurely from a heart attack or stroke, a 1 in 7 chance of breast cancer, or a 1 in 6 chance of prostate cancer. The same thinking results in obesity, diabetes, osteoporosis, constipation, indigestion, and arthritis. It's not a vegan issue, and it's no issue to have a sublingual uh, B12 spray or a or a multi any multivitamin contains enough B12. I don't see the issue here, mate. I think um, maybe it's more of convenience. When you're out on the road and it's convenient for you to pick up a burger or pick up a pick up a fried chicken wing at the truck stop or something like that, it's, but it's no justification. I think for you to call yourself an animal lover is hypocritical. It's hypocritical and it's simply not true because if you've seen the reality of a slaughterhouse and what they go through, and I think that you 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 know you know what they go through and you know that it's wrong. You know Gary has feelings. Gary the goat has feelings, and you know that pigs are intelligent and have feelings. You know that cows are intelligent and have feelings. But you're still continuing to, to eat them, and you're using B12 as um, it's no justification and it's no valid. It's not a valid reason. Yeah, if they, uh, I'm not really one of those people who are going to fucking get into a competition with people who are going, I'm the most vegan vegan that ever vegan. But I do respect the vegan diet. Fucking really respect, especially the people who fucking do it and have got high B12 levels and don't get injected with shit. Uh, you guys are fucking, fucking top of the pops, really. For me, I'm just some cunt who's trying to fucking stay healthy. I do eat a little bit of meat to stay healthy. I don't want to fucking... Uh... Dude, meat causes cancer, mate. It's not a healthy food. So you would risk getting bowel cancer, um, colorectal cancer, um, diabetes, heart disease. The number one cause of heart disease, saturated fat and cholesterol found in meat. So you'd, you'd eat a little bit of heart disease, a little bit of cancer in order to get your B12. When you can get a B12 supplement, a small tablet or a sublingual spray, if your B12 levels are low, and sometimes it takes five years to deplete your B12 levels, it's hardly as serious as you're making it out to be. Um, I feel like you're just using this as a, as a justification because you feel bad, which, you know, I, I used to feel bad for a long time too, mate, but maybe it's time to take a little bit of action and um, align align what you do with your morals. Yeah, and I do fucking love animals, but when I see shit like that with the pigs and videos of what happens in the abattoirs and shit, not blaming the people who do it, they're just fucking doing a fucking ugly job. The reason they're doing that job, my friend, is because people like yourself and others and other people that I know, they, they purchase these meat products. Supply and demand, mate. I, I think you understand the concept of some supply and demand, whereas you buy a product and it supports the industry. So the money from your hand is going straight into the, the abattoir to our workers' hands and they're getting paid by you, the consumer. If the consumer didn't buy the product, the abattoir workers wouldn't have a job, the animals wouldn't be getting killed. It's as simple as that. But I do think, fuck, 
can we do this shit better on earth? Can we do this shit better? If you want to fucking end this this video on a joke and go, come on, Jim, mate, get to the fucking joke, give us the fucking orgasm. I just want to reiterate a, uh, a couple of ideas I've had about vegans, and that is, and I'm serious here, vegans, it's like full-on vegans, I want you to answer this question. If you have got a child, uh, you're a woman and you're breastfeeding, does that make you a fucking vegan because you are letting another animal fucking eat, consume an animal product of you? And, and does that make it impossible for a baby to be vegan if it's fucking taking breast milk? Well, to answer that question, mate, um, humans drinking another human's breast milk is not exploiting an animal. The, the milk in a mother, human mother's breast is actually for the baby. Whereas in the dairy industry, per se, the milk that is in the cow's udder is for the baby calf, okay? But what we do is we take the baby calf away, we cut the baby calf's head off, head off, chop it into pieces, sell the baby calf as a dead body, and then we exploit the mother for the milk. So we can steal the baby calf's milk. There's a lot. There's a big difference. We can drink the milk from our own species, which would be fine and would be vegan. Drinking human breast milk is vegan. Um, I think you're confused about what the word vegan means. It means we don't exploit, use, or eat, kill animals, okay? It's, it's yeah, so I'm not sure what, where you're going with that one. Like I said before, if you fucking suck someone's cock and you swallow, can you still call yourself a vegan? And, you know, and... Okay, in regards to sucking someone's cock and swallowing their cum, no animal was harmed in the process, mate. No animal was harmed in the process, so that's fine. That is vegan. Does it depend on whether the guy was fucking consensually giving you his sperm? I mean, like... Well, like if it wasn't consensual, mate, then that would just be called plain old simple rape. That would just be rape, and no, that wouldn't be ethical, but... Tied up and you're sucking his cock against his will. Like, I'm talking hypothetically, because I don't know if that's ever fucking happened in the history of humanity, but... If it did happen, I don't know, anyway, so many fucking questions, uh, but uh, the big one is um, how can we fucking care for this world uh, in a way which doesn't make people get psychotic by going, fucking I'm better than you because I care for this world fucking more than you. So I think he's talking about vegans who think that they're better than him, but I don't think I'm better than you. I think my, my decision not to harm animals is better than your decision to harm animals. Um, you're, you're conscious and aware of, of the decision you've made to continue to eat meat, knowing the, the suffering that you're causing, and I think that a person who knowingly causes suffering is not aligning his morals with his core values, and I think that someone who has align their morals with their core values and who chooses not to cause suffering for no reason is more uh, more aware, more aware. I think um, everyone's got room to grow. No one's perfect. I think you're starting to make that ethical decision and I think you're moving in the right direction, mate. Even if it was a vegan, I'd fucking respect that, man. I'd go, okay, I understand that you don't want to fucking swallow because you're a militant vegan and what I'd do is just fucking tap you on the fucking shoulder and go, I'm about to fucking blow me low Get me fucking hand, fucking finish the job off myself, and then do the fucking Spider Man out the window. That's how much I respect vegans. Actually, fucking, you can't throw spiders out the window. Fuck, man. How do you fucking keep these vegans happy? Alright, so he's a bit of a funny cunt, this bloke, and I actually quite like him. Quite like him, and I hope you see this video, mate. Maybe it's time for you to, to sort of move in the direction of, you know, stopping to eat meat. We don't need to attain B12 from the meat industry. I mean, why take an animal's fucking life because you need this vitamin that you can get from other places? The cereals are fucking fortified with B12. I mean, if I shot a human in the head and ate its body because I needed to get vitamin fucking C, would that make sense? No, I could just pick a fucking orange off a tree. I mean, I think it's just the lack of education, and so why don't you get a, go get a blood test, see what your B12 levels are like, have, have a go at not eating meat for a while, not killing animals for a while, and, you know, see how your B12 levels go. I'm sure they'll be fine. But anyway, mate, that's the end of the video. I hope you see this, and I uh, hope you go vegan. Boom. That's it, mate. Suck it in, suck it in. Oh, yeah. That's it, mate. The new world order is vegan.